Let him visit London, drive up and down its spacious streets, look into its wholesale establishments, step into its banking houses and witness the extent of accommodation accorded to commercial enterprise. Let him stand at the depot of the Great Western and other railroads and mark the bustle and activity of arrival and departure of trains. See the long line of freight cars bringing products of foreign manufacturers for consumption or consignments of goods to different parts of the province. Let him take his stand on some elevated position so as to command a fair view of the scene before him and see the multitude of persons surging along the principal avenues of trade, the countless chimneys of mechanical industry, its suburban mansions, the seat of wealth, comfort or literary retirement, its churches, its banks, its crystal palaces, its hotels, let him survey the busy hive at his feet, restless, sleepless, tireless, yet hopeful. And let him say whether the community of interests, the fusion of national restraints, and the commercial fellowship which have built a city of 15,000 people do not promise still greater results. That monologue comes from the City Directory of London for 1864, and it shows just how hopeful Londoners were at this time about the commercial and financial futures of their city. At the turn of the century in London, railroads were the heart of the city's fortune. Trains brought people, goods, and services back and forth to London and were a vital part of life in the city. Now more than 150 years later, much of the same areas surrounding the historic railways of London are in a state of decline and disrepair. The neighborhood of South Horton, once a vibrant industrial hub, is now known more for substance abuse than for industry. After sitting vacant for nearly seven years, the historic London Roundhouse is once again posed to become a symbol of London's economic future. Technology firms R Traction and Atmos Media are moving into the Roundhouse with the promise of bringing heritage restoration and renewed energy to the building. As these videos will explore, the history of the London Roundhouse is far from clear. Few historical records and even fewer historical pictures exist of this building. The goal of these videos and this Facebook page is to open the history of this building to the people of London with the hope that through community memory we can shed light on, London's on the London Roundhouse and its murky history. If you have some memories, pictures, objects, anything associated with this building and its history, we'd love for you to share them with us and share them with the community. Write a comment on this video or comment on our Facebook page. Together we can uncover the history of London's Roundhouse.